My name is Susie Holt Goodwin. I'm actually a graduate student at Marymount University studying health promotion management. I've lived in the Arlington area for a couple of years now and I'm originally from North Carolina. Finally, the reason I chose an internship at Men's Health Network was because I, as a health promotions major, I was of course looking for something in health and wellness outreach but the advocacy um, kind of component at Men's Health Network was intriguing to me. I think to be in Washington, D.C. and not at least experience some of that uh, would be silly of me. So um, I came simply because I could marry those two, the health and then also the advocacy. Experiences, they definitely ranged from some things in a marketing and kind of PR capacity, which is what my background was to begin with. And that was great to be able to exercise that in terms of writing press releases, doing opinion editorials, some um, you know media communication. But then also I got a chance to really get concrete, hands-on experience at health and wellness fairs. So speaking to people that might um, you know be at a place of employment about Men's Health Network, what we do, health issues. Um, had that event experience again and then also um, attended some briefings on Capitol Hill and also uh, meetings with nonprofit organizations in the area. Events, that concrete hands-on experience. I think my favorite uh, event at Men's Health Network was actually the Time Out for Veterans Health that we did. Um, we actually did it in the Redskins locker room out at FedEx Field and it was basically just all day where um, we had a variety of just health education screenings for veterans. It was in honor of Veterans Day and I actually worked um, the uh, body fat and the grip strength station and so basically when people would come into the screenings I was the first person they saw and uh, did the first screening that they would have of the day and it was really nice just to you know talk to them about why they were there of course talking to them about their results and their health but to really get to know the community that men's health reached um, kind of brought things full circle for me to work in different capacities meaning you know I might come in and one day I have to do a marketing or communications type task the next day I come in I might need to do some research the ability to do those things um, and just be ready to do those things was excellent also communication skills um, whether I'm behind the desk writing a press release or calling a media contact or in a face-to-face -face capacity at a wellness or a health fair, being able to speak with folks in a face-to-face -face capacity, my communication skills, excellent by the end of this. Someone who does not know how to make coffee because I think, you know, when you think of an internship, sometimes you think, great, I'm going to be making people coffee and like answering the door all day and that is not um, that's not what I experienced at Men's Health Network I think that's a good thing I actually was able to do things that contributed to you know my education and it allowed me to apply the knowledge that I already had but in a real-world capacity so uh, my advice to someone that you know wanted an internship here I would say it's okay if you don't know how to make coffee and be prepared to do some real-world hands-on things Please, um, have an open mind Men's Health Network is, of course, located in the heart of D.C. and works with a variety of other um, advocacy groups, nonprofit organizations, and I think you have to have an open mind um, because you'll be meeting a variety of people from the city. Uh, I would also say come with a sense of humor and a smile on your face because the job and the work that you're doing uh, is significant at the end of the day, and that is definitely something to be happy about.